I'm Mr Gill and welcome to Thomas Telford UTC and our online open day. Now I believe the UTC represents a fantastic opportunity for any students out there who are looking for their options in sixth form, but also for current year nine students who are looking for a school with a difference for their GCSE studies. Anything fun happen at school today? So your first question might be, what are university technical colleges? Well, UTCs are schools that were created to cater the technical skill shortage that we currently have in the UK. And there are about 50 UTCs in the country. In many ways, UTCs are just like other schools. We offer GCSEs, we offer A-levels, but we also offer something a little bit extra. And I think that's demonstrated quite well in this short video. The West Midlands UTC is a school for 14 to 18 year olds. We provide technical courses in construction and architecture. They've got access to fantastic state-of-the-art facilities here. So for example, specialist design studios, the construction yard, a workshop, the latest software, 3D printers, laser cutters, things that you wouldn't find in a normal school. We've got a really strong relationship with the University of Wolverhampton and it means that we can access their guest lecturers. We can also access cricket and sports. I think studying at the UTC will help me with my job because here we get a lot of different teaching skills, machinery skills and different experiences which will help us in the future. The teachers treat us like mature adults which is quite good because we get a sense of control with our work. They push you to be a young professional, the way you speak to them, the way you act. It's uh, almost that you're, in, you're not at school, you're at work. Their attitude to learning is very uh, straightforward and to the point and they make sure that everyone does what they need to do and get it done right and get it done to the best that they can. Construction within the West Midlands is actually a growth sector and there are some major projects and investment planned within Wolverhampton and, and the wider region as well and they're going to be looking for young people to fill, fulfil those roles that are required and businesses, industry, our employer partners, they recognise that they need to create partnerships with education because they're thinking about the talent pipeline. So part of the UTC experience is around providing young people with a professional mentor in the field that they want to go into and also access to regular work experience. The school has set me up with the Shayla group where I did my work experience and I think that um, sets you forward to, with your career. They have a lot of construction contacts that come in and do certain projects such as employer project where we design things and have an opportunity to actually get that built in the future. It's a lot of pressure off the students back because they know that there's always going to be somebody there that is looking for their talent so that their talent will not go unnoticed. It's important for us to talk to employers, ask them what they actually want and to provide those particular skills. They like the fact that young people are getting access to the latest software within schools and they're getting access to work experience and I think they can see the benefits of those kind of young people coming through. 20% of our students have gone to apprenticeships against the national average of just 5%, you know, which I think is quite impressive. Every single one of our leavers last year either went into employment, further education or training. So there was zero needs, which is something I'm really proud of. In terms of the future, I want to create a big focus on our kind of strap line of innovate, design and build and a little bit more focus on the innovate side, so offering courses in computer science and we're one of the few schools that will be offering smart product design as well. I'm also quite excited by the T-levels, so we're looking at offering the surveying, planning and designing T-level from 2021. I'm really interested in how things develop next to the Elite Centre for Manufacturing Schools and how we can work together. Incredibly excited by the fact that the university are going to be building their um, School of Architecture and Built Environment right on this site, right next door to us. There are some really exciting opportunities for the UTC in the next couple of years. I would say I feel really optimistic about my future and I would recommend other students to come and experience the same as I have. The teachers and the facilities and the environment is just a lot better than any other school. For anybody with a creative mind that wants to get all of their designs down on paper and if necessary created, the UTC's facilities are absolutely fantastic. For me it's a 10 out of 10 because it's exactly what I need to get to where I want to be.
So since that video was shot, we've renamed ourselves as Thomas Telford UTC, and that's because we've entered into the Thomas Telford School Multi Academy Trust, which means we're working really closely with that outstanding school. Now we ourselves have had a visit from Offset and they judged us to be good with outstanding features. In the video, it talks about 20% of our students gaining apprenticeships, while the figure's more like 50% now. So, we're a school in Wolverhampton, situated very close to the city centre and just a five minute walk from the rail and bus stations. And our UTC is located in a fantastic state of the art building. Our specialism is based around innovate, design and build. And one of the things that makes us different to other schools is our fantastic employer engagement. So employers are in and out of this building. All of our students have mentors from industry. They get lots of opportunities to complete work experience and they go on regular site visits. And our facilities, well, they reflect our UTC-ness. We have the most amazing architecture studios, our own construction yard. Our students get to program robots, they create smart products, they build 3D models, and the students get to use VR headsets. So our students, well, they love to design, to create, to innovate, to model, to build, to experiment. And we have the facilities and the staff that allows them to do that. Now, as I've already mentioned, we've entered into the Thomas Telford School Multi-Academy Trust, and we will follow many of their routines, systems, and practices. The trust is run from Thomas Telford School with the aim of helping young people to achieve their best and to maximise their talents. We will insist on both the highest academic standards alongside develop, developing students' technical expertise. This new Thomas Telford School is simply a fantastic opportunity for the children of Wolverhampton. So, as you can see, there's lots of exciting things going on in this part of Wolverhampton. Where we are right now is the Springfield campus. Some of you might be familiar with the brewery that used to be here. The University School of Architecture, which sits right next door to us on the same campus, will be completed this summer. And the university are investing in the region of 100 million pounds on this site. You may also have heard of a development called Brewer's Yard. Well, Brewer's Yard is a three to 400 million pounds investment on offices, retail and housing, and we are right in the heart of it. As for us, there's a commitment from the DfE to expand our building. We have some really exciting plans taking shape as well as further modifications to this fantastic building. Well, the school day for sixth formers in year 10 will run as a morning session known as session one, an afternoon session known as session two, and an after school session known as UTC Extra. And that will consist of enrichment, employee-led projects, intervention, catch-up sessions. The enrichment program will, will include things such as football training, as well as school matches, netball, netball matches, basketball, table tennis, drawing with a difference, Minecraft, preparation for the school show, film review, and really anything that students might be interested in. Be aware, we do not charge for after school enrichment. The UTC's doors are open from 7.30 in the morning until 5.15 each evening. Now I would suggest you take a look at our website and go on to either the Year 10 or Year 12 perspectives where you can see a full list of all the subjects you can study with course descriptions. Each GCSE or A-level or vacation subject will be formally taught for two full sessions or for the equivalent of one full day. Year 10 will take the core GCSEs alongside two technical qualifications related to construction, civil engineering and architecture, as well as two further GCSE options of their choice. At A-level, students will be able to choose maybe three or four subjects, and this can be a combination of A-levels, vocational courses, or even T-levels from 2022. Now, I'd suggest you go onto our website or request a prospect to find out more about each course we offer. There's also the option of a Level 2 Reset programme, which will also include the introduction to either the Level 3 Construction programme or towards the T-level programme, should students wish to spend three years with us. Notice, we have a really strong diet of innovate, design and build programmes as this reflects our specialism. Many of our students join us because they want to be architects, civil engineers, town planners, project managers, software developers, business managers, interior designers. Many come to the UTC because they simply love the environment. Now, many of our students leave us to start apprenticeships. We expect this to be in the region of maybe about 50% of this year's leavers, and then most of the other students tend to go on to university. So, if you have any further questions about the application process, then I would encourage you to contact my PA, Mrs. Murray. And I genuinely do believe that Thomas Telford UTC represents a fantastic opportunity for you and I would encourage you to apply. Thank you for listening.